Okay, welcome back. All right, so the next verse here. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and King of kings. And they that are with him are called chosen and faithful. Now, of course, this is what is called Armageddon, or most people refer to as the Third World War, which is some time ahead of us here in the future. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples, multitudes, and nations, and tongues. All right, we need to focus right there for a minute. Okay, it's going to identify us in one way with New York City, which would be Ellis Island, where those, where basically all the immigrants would have to come through to register. And, of course, that would be the peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. But it also says something here where it says, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth. Now we're going to talk literal waters, okay, symbolic waters, which is where that Statue of Liberty is in the harbor there. And then we're also going to talk a figurative form of waters, and the reason why there are two forms here is because we have two Babylons in question. All right, And that's what we need to focus on. We need to understand that these kings of the earth are sacrificing commercial Babylon. They're offering commercial Babylon up. All right, And that is why New York City, i.e. where the second cup is fulfilled, and even where and why... The first cup was fulfilled, which is the bringing down of the World Trade Centers. New York is commercial Babylon. It symbolically represents all that's wrong with the world today. It represents, New York is even called the Big Apple. Okay, so if you want to refer right now that apple back to that story in Genesis when the serpent originally tempts man or tempts Eve with the apple. Well, the apple symbolically is representing materialism. Now, it has double meanings, but in this instance, that's what it's meaning. That's how it's being represented. It's being material things over the spiritual things. So that's what's being offered up. So this is the main mystery Babylon cult that you're all familiar with. Everybody's familiar with this eye right here, which is the eye of Ra or the eye of Horus, which absolutely trans translates to Lucifer, the light bearer. Now we have this on the seal of our great dollar bill, and it literally means Mystery Babylon. So this Mystery Babylon is that organization that has ruled the world from behind the scenes the entire time from that point of entrance where the serpent offers or tempts man and then of course man symbolically is shown taking the apple which is what New York City is symbolically representing that original apple and then the full manifestation of the sin of taking that apple of the materialism and now New York itself is the materialization or the manifestation of that sin in its fullness so as you can see so what we have here is the mystery Babylon is ecclesiastical Babylon which means religious Babylon but this religious Babylon is not like what you think not the good religion it's that mysterious occultic religion that has its roots in ancient Babylon Samaria with the Sumerian deities so now you can see the two Babylons we have the one that is behind the scenes that has grown and fattened for the kill or the slaughter, commercial Babylon, which we'll talk about a little bit further. So let me read this little caption here. New York represents the total fulfillment of Genesis where the serpent offers the apple, which in this symbolic sense is materialism. And of course, it being the first Commerce. Now that's going to be important in the next few videos that we talk about. I'll be back.